All right, folks, um, we're going to do a little video on uh, 939 series wrecker uh, operation. Um, of course, this is not a wrecker, it's actually a tractor, but uh, same principle we'll go over. There actually is not many videos on how to engage a wrecker if you just bought one or whatever. Um, so, truck's running, you know, normal operation. You'll have your spring brake override here, which is for basically your brake system. You will have your part your uh, emergency brake engaged down here all right pull it up you'll hear the honk like normal unlock your spring brakes however in the event you need to self recover yourself if it has the uh, spring brake override button here on the on the dashboard or down here that actually is to release your spring brake when it's overridden by the PTO the PTO when it's engaged for the power divider will automatically lock the spring brakes on a wrecker so that's for self-recovery. You'll push that self-recover if you need to. Um, besides that, though, say you want to run your boom, you'll go ahead and let it run at idle. You'll leave it at transmission in neutral, transfer case to neutral, parking brake on, reach back here, power divider forward, and then it's engaged. And then one through five or one through four. Uh, I usually use one through four because it seems to have a lot more power. Um, of course, the truck's going to idle up on you no matter what. Um, I always do it that way because when you go to, if you go to one through five, trying to gauge your power divider, you're going to have some grinding because it's not going to be a smooth transition. So, um, but if you want to kick your boom off, kick your rear PTO off, you will neutral power divider back, transfer case to the floor, which is going to be high range, up will be low range. Um, and of course you've got your spring brake override on you'll go ahead and pop that one that one there is only for your brake operation when you're driving um, so but if you're self recovering though that's what that spring brake thing down here is for the little knob some MWOs not get it um, so I'm gonna look at on that but other than that I'll tell you I operate a 930 for 